Hello, how are you doing? Okay, fine. And you? I'm okay. So, what is your name? My name is Margarita Gonzalez. Okay, and um, what borough do you live in? I live in the Bronx. And how long have you been a foster parent? It's gone on three years. Three years. Now, how many children have you fostered in the last three years? About six or seven. Six or seven children. Okay, and what foster care agency are you with right now? Uh, I have a house. Okay, so why did you come to FPA Foundation today? I came over here today because I had an accident in another house and somebody told me, a friend of mine told me about the agency, so that's why I'm here. So they could help me with my situation. Okay, so what is the situation you're having with Abbott House at this particular time? The situation that I'm having with Abbott House is that Abbott House doesn't have no respect for any foster parents. They do whatever they want. They took my two kids away from me because I made a bad choice. I have these two kids since they were born, and the kids are suffering because they're crying and they miss me because they, that's the only mother that they know me. Okay, so let me ask you this. Um, you said because you made a poor choice. Was, was there a miscommunication with the caseworker? What did the caseworker tell you? The caseworker told me uh, a week, bef a week uh, before that uh, my foster kid has unsupervised visit. And that's why it happened. The incident happened. Okay, so what was the incident? The incident happens that I gave the baby to his mother. And the director from our house told me that that was a bad choice that I did. So, and that, that choice that I made, they took my kids away from me, right in there. Okay, so do you think that they should have removed the children? No. I don't think I did nothing wrong because I, I'm, I'm, I'm going by the caseworker told me that I have, she had unsupervised visits. I didn't know that she don't have unsupervised visits. So that's why I gave it to him, and I gave it to her. And that's the choice that the, the, the director told me that I make, a bad choice. Do you think foster parents need support, the outside organization supporting them? Yes, we do need support from, uh, from, from the agency because, I mean, they're doing stuff that they're not supposed to. They treat us like criminals, and we're not criminals, you know? I grew up without a mother and a father, and I know what it is to be a foster kid. Because I went through with this, and thank God I find a lady that took care of me. She put me to school, and this is why I am today. So I'm giving what they gave me. I'm giving her the love that this kid needs. Because the the ones that are suffering is the kids. Nobody else is suffering. I mean, you don't want to go through this. What I'm going through, missing the kids, they miss me, and and it's hard. I've been devastated. I mean, it's hard. What message would you like to tell um, the public advocate or the mayor about being a foster parent and the treatment of the agencies? What would you like to share with them? I would like to tell them that we need support. We need help. Because this agency, they do whatever they want to do with these kids. They don't care about the kids. They don't. This, these things, foster care is supposed to be about the kids. The kids could have love and understanding and, and, and whatever the kids need. That's what they need. They should give us some help because we need help. Do you think Abbott House needs to be investigated? Yes, they do because they're doing a lot of stuff that they're not supposed to. I mean, they treat us like criminals and we're not criminals. We're human beings and we need some respect. That's why we don't have the way they talk to you, like you're a criminal, they talk to you down, like you did something wrong. We didn't do nothing wrong. The only thing that we do is love these kids. Okay, thank you.